just trying to get far enough away from the house but basically what this is is I'm in the Adirondack Mountains elevations about 1600 to 2000 feet above sea level so us city dwellers gotta take it a little bit slower until we get used to it not that it's altitude or anything just not used to the mountains but I definitely love it up here well as you can hear we definitely got radios but this is day two did a little scouting and uh, it's not bad deer have not been visible we got a little bit of sign Sorry, we're just doing radio checks. It's a little later in the morning than I would like to have come out here, but uh, as you can see, snow's on the ground, which makes it nice and soft. And uh, hey, anyway, sorry about that. Uh, everybody's doing radio checks. They wanted to see if I was still alive out here. It's always good to be safety, safety first, right? But um. This is just a mountain that they cut an old logging road in. And there are tree stands up here. But they've been used, they've been used for a while. I'm just making a slow, steady walk up to the top. Uh, not that this video is helping keep the deer from running across my path, but this is what it is. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Got my pack, rifle, sidearm. Good, good group of guys. Some youngins, 13 to 17. Start teaching them how to hunt at an early age. But uh, it's beautiful up here. They do have four wheelers, but. I opted to get some exercise. You can see it's beautiful. So I got two yearlings, possibly doe. I don't see any bucks. I'm just gonna weigh them out. All right, Kev, it looks like they're yearlings or uh, doe. I don't see any bucks. You can meet me up the trail if you want. All right, so pretty cool. I finally found my spot. I don't know if you can see that. Pretty good avenues of approach. Got everything kind of set up around here. Elevation's about 1,800 feet. So ideally, I'd like to be at the top of that mountain, but because we're in uh, the Adirondacks, it's extremely wooded up here. And the logging roads pretty much are the highways. So I just climbed up here a little sweaty. I'm trying to cool off. But uh, you know, I'll sit here quiet for a while. Those two does were not legal to shoot here in New York, so I can't shoot them. Um, and ideally, you want them to reproduce anyway. So they'll make more bucks. More bucks means we get to shoot them and eat them. So we we'll check out the mountains. It's pretty sick. It's nice up here. And it's in the 30s, 20s, 30s. It's not that cold. Well, for some people. But I'm just gonna sit quietly for a while, see if I see anything. All right, so I just walked up on some uh, deer beds. You can see it. Tore up. 
over here. Looks like they were grazing. Someone's tearing it out. You can see my footprints went right through it, but there's definitely a deer sign up here. So what I tried to do is see this large. This is just dried up riverbed. I don't even say dried up, it's just frozen over. So I got like a really good really good lanes in between the cut. Works out pretty good. Probably the two I saw before. They look about the same, but they're fat. Think they're pregnant? Mm -hmm. You think one of them's pregnant? Give it a call. See what happens.
All right, so it's uh, day three of the hunt. As you can see, it's beautiful out here. Still up at the 2,000 feet above sea level. Absolutely beautiful up here. It's quite a bit of a hike to get up here. Um, I saw two does yesterday. They seem to be like a family. Real fat, but up here you can't shoot does. I was hoping that um, somebody was, you know, that the bucks were following them, but they weren't. This seems to be at a higher elevation, and then they come down at night to feed. So the uh, other hunting, the other hunting uh, friends, they saw some good sign up the mountain a little bit further. So, but they didn't see any bucks. Uh, this is actually coming towards the end of the rut season. So ideally, early November is better to hunt, but you know, time, schedule, that kind of thing is a little bit rough. I haven't been up here since last year, and the, uh, the trees seem to have blown over on the trail, so it's a little bit tougher getting up here. As you, you guys know, I've been packing out my gear. Let's see if I can flip it around. That's just the radio. So that's not us, that's a different hunting party up here. Uh, but we always use channel six in case other hunters get in trouble. And in case we get in trouble, there's more people online to, to help out because uh, we're kind of remote. Um, so I'm carrying my wilderness buoy, as you guys see. All right, this thing I chopped down a couple branches with yesterday, try to help out with the blind. Ideally, you don't want to make too much noise out here, but, you know, got to make the blind a little bit better. I got my Ruger Alaskan 44. All right, it is the uh, two and a half inch barrel. It's, it's kind of heavy to lug around, but I'm okay with it. And this is uh, across the holster. This is a... Uh, Johnson holster it's made for the Ruger Alaskan this piece right here is extra this little tab that holds extra rounds six extra rounds there are black bear up here and um, it's not too bad I haven't seen any but I know that on this property there are definitely black bear uh, you now you can take them out with the rifle but uh, you know sometimes when you're sitting around for a while and you gotta go to the bathroom, you don't want to take your rifle, you can just take your pistol. This is a really cool rig. It has a, more like a cross the, cross the chest draw kind of thing, so it looks pretty good. A little retention strap here if you need it. Alright, so my rifle is the model Remington 700, I don't know if you can see that. It's a 308 thin uh, bull barrel um, wood, wood stock, and I have a loop hold. Let's see if you can see that. It's a loop hold, right? Mark three, three to ten, uh, ten by fifty millimeters. So it's very, very, very clear, very accurate. Uh, the only thing I have put on here, really, other than the scope, is a recoil pad. Because uh, this thing, it's a 308, doesn't kick that bad, but with a recoil pad, it gives a little bit more length of pull. Which, if you're tall and you have long arms, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm just using um, Federal soft, soft points. Let's see. Federal soft points, 308s. Good for a deer, but I gotta tell you, it's uh, it's gotten chillier as we've been up here. As you can see, I got a pretty good lane down there. I'm trying to hunt on 
a uh, it's kind of a vertical as you can see up the mountain it's a little bit vertical but I'm trying to hunt on a slant but I want this lane this lane is excellent I did see I don't know if you can see over here yesterday I filmed it but there's a bunch of rubs over here and a bunch of beds in there and I was sitting over here yesterday but I kind of wanted to give it like a very long berth so uh, so if they do come down there again I got a really nice clear shot and then you can see up the mountain over here as it goes up let's see if I can pull back so I'm kind of on a slant but that's a really good lean if I can get my uh, get my shot through there and this is all a logging road anyway so I could pull I can pull it right down through there and of course I got an insane beautiful view of the mountains look at that but as you can hear it's a little chilly up here it's about 28 degrees so they got to bundle up uh, my pack is the Eboli stock um, I'm still wearing my woolies. I don't know if I, I'll go over a gear list when I get back to the, back home. But and these are my boots. Really good. They're uh, I forget the name of it, but um, you need really cold weather up here. It's not easy. So I'm gonna stop yapping and see if I can get something up here. Just started snowing real hard. Alright, so I don't know if you can see that, but that's brand new. Those are deer tracks. And it looks like they're coming down the mountain. I don't know how long ago, but it was definitely recent. This nice logging trail that goes down there. So those are my tracks over here. I'm gonna do a little scouting, see what I get. Could be those two doe as well, so if it's a doe, then it's kind of like a false positive, it's a crappy lead. I don't know if there's one or two. Not sure yet. Hey, buddy. Alright, so yeah, it was the two doe that I was tracking earlier. They're no threat because they know that we won't shoot them. But pretty cool. I think their friend is over here. Yeah. Two females. I wish there was a buck following them, but it doesn't seem to be. They come down here to eat all the time. Bunch of fatties. Anyway. 